Okay, now I'm gonna stuff my shredded coconut caramel in Bisaya Bukhaya. I think I need a roller. Oh, I don't, I don't think I need a roller. I can do it by my hand. Here's my pandesal. I pour it already. I made 20. For the two and a half cup, I made 20 warm, 10 of pandi coco, and 10 of my pandesal. That's all we need. And that's gonna be take a week. Well, our, our bread it takes forever because I'm not so much bread eater. And they are not. Mm. And then, but this one, pandi coco, goodness. It's my favorite bread in the whole world. Promise, it's yummy. <laughs> It's yummy. All right. This is what I want to make in the Philippines. A homemade bandi coco in the bakery. Mm, depends the bakery. Depends the baker. But of course, they have to budget the ingredients to make a profit. To make a profit of their business but if you do it mainly for food for eating you don't have to make a profit you can add that ingredients as you want Don't burn. Good. We'll see if my daughter will eat this. But promise this is good. I love bandy coco. I buy it in the store here. Mahal guys, mahal. Kay ba magtagpila ang putos niya limara kabuksod? $5. Now I know how to make it. I'm not gonna buy again anymore. Because, because it marked Pandi Coco. <laughs> I don't care. Now I want. I know. The dough of my Pandi Sal is the dough of my Pandi Coco. Same thing. Tell me. Tell me. Mm. 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 I love it. Bukayo. Mm. Sarap. Bukayo sarap. Pondi coco. And then I'm gonna bake it later when my daughter's here. And just show her. Um, sigurado juko manok mato. Oh, my girl, my stinky my girl. <laughs> oh, you want to eat bukayo? Oh, no. 
Mm. Oh my God, it's good. So, the same as fresh coconut. I don't like buying it and sweetening dry shredded coconut because the taste is not good.